Hello, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning to everyone who's tuning in. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. On behalf of BRDSP Student Chapter, I'd like to welcome you all in our fifth lecture of English for Professionals course. I'm Mona Jaza, oil and gas engineering student, and I'll be your moderator for today. Please don't forget to drop your questions in the Q&A section below, and please keep the chat box professional and ethical. So without further ado, let's welcome Mr. Ahmed Jad, who will be our instructor this course. And now, Mr. Ahmed, mic is yours. You can begin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, everybody. I will, um, how are you doing today? Uh, just give me two minutes. I'm sending an email and I will be with you. Just two minutes, okay? Okay, take your time. Okay, everybody, how are you doing today? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How is everybody today? معلش تأخرت عليكم شوية. سامحوني. والله لسه سامح حالا حالا. بخلص السيشن بتاعتي عشان تعرفوا بس شغال جمعة وسبت وحد واثنين وثلاث. بس ما أقدرش أتأخر عليكم يعني. أنتوا وقت ما تحتاجوني لازم تلاقوني إن شاء الله بإذن الله. ربنا يعيني يعني. ولو قلت فانيلا فرنسا أهو ما بحبش فرنسا كدولة يعني لكن بحبها ككورة. فبس فربنا يستر. ايه الاخبار؟ عاملين ايه؟ We're doing great. Okay, perfect. So, uh, would like to share the homework with us. يلا, I'm all ears. 
عايزين ناخد سيشن اي وود لايك تو جيف يو ا سيشن اباوت ذا انجلش بروفربس اند سمثينج كولد ذا ايديمز اني بادي نوز وات از ذا ايديم اند كان جيف مي ان اكزامبل اباوت ان ايديم اني بادي نوز ها ام اس اني بادي نوز وات از ان ايديم ام جوين رايت ات ان ذا تشات هلو وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله منار ومرتضى ايديم سي ذس از the word idiom i think some people now are um, piece of cake aywa keda ya manar piece of cake he ran it like a fire he jumped from the pan to uh, from the fire to the pan um, he was afraid like a rat like what idioms bizabt keda bravo alik so idioms is just like getting things closer with an example it's an english some english expressions it's mostly uh, uh, studied yani it's not uh, they have no rules yet like when you say don't be like a chicken okay how oh, he's afraid like a chicken and all these kind of idioms بالعربي كده احنا بنسميها يعني تشبيهات يعني او استعاره مكنيه بالغ يعني break a leg exactly the, the sky is raining the cats and dogs you know this kind of this idiom cats and dogs the sky is raining cats and dogs break a leg يا سلام عليك يا منور والله شفت بتكتبي نفس اللي انا بقوله that's good yeah it's raining cats and dogs yes exactly Yeah, it's it's a yes. Yeah, spill the tea. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it could be spill the tea. It's it's uh, so it's 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 a lot of uh, things, you know. Okay, you smoke like a fire. Okay, or like a chimney. Okay, smoking like a chimney is an idiom. Uh, just give me a moment. يعني جماعة الموصل بتتواصل معايا برضو كمان الحمد لله أنتوا خلتوني مشهور جدا في العراق بصراحة لازم أجيل كل عراق أزوركوا يعني إن شاء الله بإذن الله سبحانه فجامعة الموصل برضه عايزين نعمل لهم دورات ان شاء الله وربنا يقدرني واقدر باذن الله سبحانه ان شاء الله بس هرد على الراجل ده عشان هو ان شاء الله هرسل لك كل شيء تمام طيب هو لايك تو لايك تو شير هيز هوم ورك وذ اس ها هو لايك تو شير يلا I'm listening ربنا يخليك أشكرك thank you very much حيدر ربنا يخليك thank you منى ربنا يخليك أشكرك جزاك الله خيرا so um, yeah I'm, I'm I'm listening for homework ها huh. let me يلا يا جماعه ام ليسننج ام ويتنج فور اني بادي تو شير يلا يا جماعه ام ليسننج فور فور يو مين مين هيشير معايا nobody like to share Uh, we have six homeworks, so which one you want them to say? Anything, any like, I think I, I always like you to share first, okay? Okay, uh, you guys can say the bar graph first. Okay, uh, you can say the summary. Well, I'm listening. Well, who's going to start? Go, Abdul Jalil. You can unmute yourself. Uh, 
Uh, he wrote it in the chat box. Do you want me to read it for you? Sir? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, okay. Chapter seven. Uh, three friends decided to go to the Af to Africa, okay? And they asked me if I want to go with them. We live uh, in Brazil. We leave Brazil in September, but the weather is hot and the hurricane is strong. The ship is broken and the captain wants to go back to repair it, but I don't want to go back. We think about the best solution, which is to go on a smaller boat, but this is dangerous because the boat is too small for 17 men. We go on a small we, we, we go on a small boat, but the waves are big and the wind is strong. A big wave uh, turns a boat and I'm underwater. I feel uh, a land uh, under my feet. I stand up, and my but my body is weak. I can't stand up faster. After some time, I stand up and I look for the other men, but they are all dead. I only find three hats and two shoes on the beach. It's a horrible, it's, it is horrible for me. Allah know what I'm doing. I'm doing when I come to one. So I saw also your homework. Excellent, excellent, very, very good. Thank you much, very much, Abdul Gril. You deserve uh, all the best. Uh, would like to share any of his sentences or any of his grammar before we start. Yalla. I always like to begin by listening to you more than uh, rather than begin by talking. Hi, Mr. Ahmed. Good evening. Hello. Okay, Mohsen, I'm listening to you. Go ahead. Yes, uh, let me talk uh, briefly about uh, Robinson chapter seven. Okay, go ahead. Robinson and uh, his friend was planning to uh, go to Africa uh, and still there for uh, two months. Okay. They prepare for uh, the journey and uh, then get on the ship. The ship mm -hmm. was uh, very big. And okay. uh, they were only 17 men in the ship. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, the weather was very good, but uh, it was uh, hot. Okay. But uh, <clears throat> one week later, uh, mm -hmm. they say a uh, hurricane and uh, the ship was uh, broken. Mm -hmm. uh, the captain uh, said, uh, we must uh, go back and repair the ship. But Robinson was uh, rejected to this idea. Okay. Then uh, another uh, hurricane comes and uh, their uh, ship uh, uh, broken completely. Mm -hmm. Then uh, they used a small boat, but uh, the wave was uh, very big. Mm -hmm. Uh, Robinson uh, swam to the beach and stand up on the beach, but uh, all men was dead. It was horrible. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. I love it. Allah Nawar. Brigadi, and really, really excellent. Uh, thank you so much, Mohsen. Mashallah, uh, you, you, you pronounce well, and uh, your sentence are so much. Uh, um, 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 Connected, which I like so much. MashaAllah, Okay. Thank you, Thank you, Mahsin. Anybody else? Okay, let me prepare something for you here. Okay, okay. 73, 74. Okay, so uh, who else like to share something? Thank you, Mahsin. Uh, who like to share? Mean you have to share it for Haga. Jerry, do you need any help? 
شور اوكي يعني عندنا واحد اسمه جيري بس مش عارف ما جابش توم معاه جيري بس اللي جه <تصفيق> اوكي who else need to share طيب uh, we uh, for the next three sessions the last session ان شاء الله Uh, yani so we will have a session tomorrow, inshallah, at 4 o'clock, and then we will have next week uh, two sessions, so Thursday and Friday. Friday will be your exam. I will send you the exam, uh, and I will be online with you until you finish the exam. And then uh, after you finish the exam, we're going to correct it together, and you are going to mark for yourself, and everybody will know his score, okay? Inshallah, everything in Tomorrow six. Can we cannot make it four tomorrow? It's okay. If it's six, it's okay, Mona. If we can make I don't it four, think so. you cannot. I'll ask okay. them. Okay. If, it, if it's six, خلاص. No problem for me. I will do it at six. Yeah. No problem. Uh, so um, uh, make sure that you, on Friday it will be an exam, and I'm preparing for the exam right now. It will be uh, written and. Uh, I, We will finish it. Uh, I will give you time to finish the exam, and then um, it will be also um, um, you will correct and you will know numbers, and then it, this will level will be uh, finished, and then um, I will uh, manage with uh, your admin to send me the names on the Excel sheet, and uh, I'm gonna put a description for your uh, for your certificate. I'm gonna write it now in the chat. So the this uh, yeah, I need the description. I will write it. So in order, if you have, you want to change anything that will be written in the certificate. So it will be uh, attended. Access. Uh, inter. English. Language. Uh, course. So um, your name will be uh, above, uh, you uh, will have your name, and then it will have attended successfully intermediate uh, English language course with small, uh, 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 this will be the, 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 the bold letters. The small letters will be, uh, it will be grammar, conversation, Will they have finished grammar? Conversation. Technical English. And Grammar, conversation, technical English, vocabulary, and comprehension. So this will be written on the certificate. Attendance successfully, and then intermediate uh, English language course, and then uh, in, in smaller uh, 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 lines, it will be written Uh, the course consists of grammar, conversation, technical English, vocabulary, and comprehension. So this will be written in the certificate. If you have any suggestions, uh, yes, uh, please uh, uh, share it with me. And the, the certificate will come from API, Aberdeen, uh, Aberdeen Petroleum Institute. It's, this is the name. It's not Aberdeen. But this is a company uh, I am a partner in, and it uh, runs in Turkey, in, it runs in Saudi, in Bahrain, in Egypt. And uh, soon, inshallah, we'll go to Kuwait and Iraq, inshallah. So it's an international training provider, and uh, I'm one of the uh, uh, shareholders. Uh, and uh, we, we are looking to Algeria, Manar. Wallah, we are looking to Algeria. We are looking to open market in Algeria. Um, I hope so. I hope so. I, I, I really hope so. Because the problem is that um, uh, all, all the shareholders are working already. So I'm working here in ADC. 
uh, one of the shareholders is an Addis trading manager. So we get we came together. Rabbina khayyik, inshallah. I will, I will ha I have to come to Algeria. I will tell you one piece of news. My brother is married from Tizozo. So his wife is Algerian, actually, and they are living both in Egypt now, uh, in Cairo. So actually, I have a relation with, uh, with, with Algeria. So one day I should come to Algeria, inshallah. Maybe I will uh, go with my brother to visit uh, his uh, wife's family in, the, in Algeria. Then I have to go and, and see you there, inshallah. You are all my, my boys and girls, and they like my sons and daughters. I don't have boys. I only have two girls. But I'm very happy to have you all as my uh, brothers and my uh, kids. Okay, our pleasure. Sure. So this will be the description, inshallah, uh, and it will be sent to uh, to the admin who actually going to issue to. Today, let's start with vocabulary. Every day we start with something new. So I'm going to open right now. I'm going to share with you, and let's read together uh, what I'm going to share with you. We started with idioms today. So let's let talk a little bit about idioms, idioms and fixed expressions. So idioms are fixed expression with meanings that are usually not clear or obvious. The individual words often give, give you no help deciding the meaning. The expression to feel under the weather, which means feel unwell is a typical idiom. The words do not tell us what it means, but the context usually helps. So it's, it's, it means that you cannot translate literally. Okay, you have to uh, uh, see the whole text to, to understand. So think of idioms as being just like single word, always record the whole phrase in your notebook along with information and grammar. The teen opener has, has seen better days. Now, can a teen opener see better days? No, of course, but it, it means it rather old and broken are down, usually of things always perfect and small. Idioms are usually rather informal and include an element of personal comment on the situation. They are sometimes humorous or ironic, uh, as with informal commenting single word. Be careful how you use them. Never use them to sound just fluent or good at English. In a formal situation with a person you don't know, uh, don't say. So don't ever use idioms in emails, in reports writing. Yani it's very, very rare if you have to do that. But sometimes you can. Yani, uh, I have been working in the office like hell this last week. You can put this in an email, okay? So these are things. How do you do, Mrs. Watson? Do, uh, do take the weight of your feet? Uh, do take the weight of the feet? Sit, uh, okay, do, do take the weight of your feet, which here means sit down. Instead, do sit down or have a seat. You cannot say that to a person. Idioms can be grouped in variety of ways. We'll, we'll take some varieties. Use whichever way you find most helpful to you, uh, you, you, uh, you, most useful to help you remember them. Here are some possible types of grouping. So we have grammatical, like get the wrong end of the stick, misunderstand, pull a fast one. You know, pull a fast one means that you deceived someone. Poke your nose, interfere, interfere. Uh, be over the moon, extremely happy. Feel down the dumps, in the dumps, depressed. Uh, be in red, have a negative bank balance. Okay, so this is grammatical. Verb plus object, verb plus position plus phrase. By meaning, idiom describing people, character, intellect. He is as draft as a brush. Yeah, he's very silly. He takes a biscuit, uh, which means he's is extreme, the worst of all. You are a pain in the neck. Okay, uh, so there is a lot of uh, of ways we can use them. Let's try to uh, see the idioms below. Let me first of all share the book with you so that everybody can see it. I will, I will share it now. Let me stop sharing first and then let me share the book if you don't have it. And I will share it now in Telegram as well. Okay. So I hear, I hear uh, share it here and I will also share it on Telegram. So you can open it while we are to, uh, doing the exercise to be better for you. Let me hear. Okay, I'm, I'm sharing it on, on, on Telegram as well. All right, I want to hear your voices. Let's start by uh, uh, answering. Um, where's the, where's the book? Did you close it? Okay. 
Yeah. Can you all see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, yalla, let's start by doing 74.1. And this is on the book page. If you want to see this is the page number, it's, it's, it's chapter 74 anyway, okay? So let's go 74.1. Yalla, who's going to read and try to answer? So the first one is done. All the promises these politician make, it's just a pie in the sky. Big promises that will never uh, materialize. Pie in the sky. Uh, we have an uh, Egyptian for for that. We call uh, when you when you invite someone to your home, but you act actually are not intending to invite him. You are just putting an invitation, and you know that it's going going to happen. Someone is going to travel tomorrow, and then you say, uh, "Can you come and stay the night with me?" And you know that he's, he's a, so we call it azumit marakbeya. Anybody heard this terminology before? Before azumit marakbeya. When, يعني ليه بنسميها كده عشان this is an idiom لما تكون انت في البحر مثلا وبتقول لحد على الشط تعالى معايا تعالى اركب معايا المركب ما هو انت هي دي المركب هو في وسط البحر فهو مش هيجي لك ابدا. Okay يلا who's going to read number two? I can read it. Yeah يلا go ahead the small amount. Yeah. Number two the small amount of money donated is just drop in the ocean. Excellent. 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 Drop in the ocean. Yeah. Mm. Go ahead, Campbell, continue. Compared with the vast sum we need. Tiny, uh, tiny corruption compared with... No, no, what... tiny, tiny contribution. Uh, contribution. Contribution, sorry. Hmm. Uh, compared with, the, uh, with what is needed. Excellent. So we have something called drop in the ocean, which is... Drop in the ocean. Exactly. Very good. Thank you very much. Shiala, number three, who's going to answer it? Number three. Uh, that it means something inappropriate and something embarrassing. You really dropped A? Uh, who can uh, guess? Dropped A? Anybody knows? No, it's not a block. I dropped a joke. No, it's not a joke. I say I don't think it's a joke. We don't have joke actually here. You really dropped. A, I guess it's dropped a plate. I think it's dropped a plate. When you criticized the American last night, the man opposite uh, you was from New York. Said something appropriate. Let's see. I think it's dropped a plate. Okay. Let's see what other can get. Uh, we will have number four. Huh? I can't do. I can't do that job as well. I have got enough on my, huh? who can say? On, enough, on enough, my plate. Enough on my plate. So number four is plate, you know it. Yeah, that's good to correct also. I have enough on my plate as it is, have more than enough work. Okay. Number five, when I told her just, uh, she just flew off there and shouted at me, lost her temper. She just flew off the shoot. Shot? No, it's not. She flew off the shot? No, I don't think so. No. Uh, she just flew off the. Let me see the answer here in the chat. Of the ground, but the ground is not written here. We don't have the ground. We want. We need to choose from those uh, words. I put a highlight here. So she just flew off the uh, handle, I think. Okay, he, his father was a gambler too. He has real chip of, and uh, of the old, just like one parent, grandparents. Okay, that's hard. Okay, I want. I wasn't really sure. I guessed it. It was. Ah, uh, number seven is very easy. I wasn't sure. I guessed it was just not in the dark. A wild guess, huh? Ocean? No, ocean is no, it's not number seven is not ocean. Number seven is easy. I wasn't really sure. I guess it was just a shot, shot in the dark, you know, you know, a, a shot in the dark, a, a wild guess. So um, okay, let me uh, see with you. Uh, you really dropped A when you're excited American. Okay, 
Uh, let me get your the answer for you. Okay. Let me get me the answers. Drop the clangor. Yes, that's correct. Drop the clangor. Yes. So the answer is clangor. Okay. You just dropped a clangor. So this one is just dropped a clangor. Okay. Flow of the handle. Yes, that's right. The Haider Sah, Manar Sah. Haider is correct and Manar is correct. Uh, okay. Let me just. Uh, where is the book? Yeah. So, uh, she flew off the handle. It's correct. And uh, dropped a clanger. Uh, he, he's a real chip of the old. Huh? Of the old. Huh? I think it's a block. It's a real chip of the old block. Just like one parent's grant. Okay. Fine. Uh, so it's, it's, it's really nice to look for these idioms and try to understand what they mean. Okay, let's go to number seven, 74.2. Use a, uh, use a good general dictionary or dictionary. Okay, idiom, no problem. Holland is springing to mind as the best place, place for cycling holiday. It's very flat. That remark is flying or flies uh, in the face of everything. No, so you have to go to dictionary. Then. Okay. Right. Let's go to 75 now. Let's try to understand. So you understand the rule of idioms? Block, that's correct. So idioms are very nice and try to, uh, as a homework, uh, try to, try the homework. Let's say to everyone, yeah, homework. Try to get as six to seven idioms and use them in a sentence. Okay, that's the first homework for today. So let's say, as I was saying, I haven't seen her for years. So this is everyday spoken language full of fixed expressions that are not necessarily difficult to understand. Their meaning may be quite transparent, but which have a fixed form which does not change. These have to be learned to all expressions. These expressions are often hard to find in dictionaries to listen to out of them. Uh, as you say, you will have to go there early to get a seat. Talking of skiing, however it happened, Bill Jake, if, I'm, if you ask me, she's heading for trouble. That reminds me, come to think. As you can see here, the meanings. As I was saying, means taking the conversation back on to early point. Um, as I say, it will, means repeats and confirms. Talking of means starting a new topic. If you ask me, this means if you want my opinion. So as you can see here, the exact word here doesn't literally means what you want to say. So it's not about you are asking me, but if you ask me means here, if you want my opinion, you get, you get what I mean? I mean, I'm going to ask you what I want to say, or I don't know what I mean. I mean, I'm going to ask you what I mean. I mean, that today, you can put words in the English language, but it doesn't mean a word, but it doesn't mean that you are talking about in the word, in case of asking. Uh, it's not about in case of asking, uh, Haider. It's about taking my opinion. If you ask me which T-shirt I would like, I say I would say the blue. So I'm not going to ask you to ask me. I'm just saying if you take my opinion, I will choose the blue. Just saying the opinion, Robotic. Um, as I was saying, it's not about I am saying something. It's about as I was saying. So let's go back to the first point we spoke about. As I was saying, vocabulary is important. So I was not saying that, but I'm starting a new point or I'm taking you back to a new point, uh, an, an early point in the conversation. You get what I mean, Agama? Uh, talking of politics, uh, Iraq is a great country. So uh, can you see how it's being used? Had the Mishwam, Agama? Had the Mishwam, Hnaina, Nikalim Ali, and Nalukunala. 
اعلى شويه في الانجلش في فكره ان انت ازاي تعمل كونفرسيشنز وتكون فيها كلمات او 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 تعبيرات اصعب شويه حد مش فاهم طيب if you are talking to uh, to someone uh, and someone tell you something and then it reminds you of something uh, or something you thought about you say when you come to think of it did you give him this number after all when you come to think of it you, you are not coming to think but it, you just realized right now that there is something you can do you got what i mean so uh, idioms here means that you actually are coming to think about something you are uh, uh, reminding something you got me realizing it's clear as the sky today okay very good point okay so some uh, yes, everyday expression can be grouped around the keywords uh, this and that for example this this is it this is the important point that's it uh, that's the last thing you do uh, we have finished so this is it means uh, this is the point we are looking for. That's it, يعني we finished, okay? Uh, we talked about this and that, uh, or this and that and the other, various important matters. So that then, that is agreed, settled, finished. So some common uh, expressions for modifying statement, statements, if the worst comes to the worst, we will have to cancel the holiday. If the worst comes to the worst, if the situation gets bad, see the, see, see the, uh, uh, the idiom here, So what I want you to do with this idiom, I want you to uh, do something for me. I want, I'll write in the chat. I want you to read chapter 74 and 75 in the English English vocabulary news and Uh, understand just read it this is another homework okay uh, so if all else fails we could fax them so if nothing else succeeded uh, what with one thing and another i had time to reply for her letter because of a lot of different circumstances when it comes when it comes to talking about restaurants, when it comes, as far as I'm concerned, this one, I think it's very, very uh, clear or very, very uh, famous. As far as I'm concerned, which when it comes to me, when it affects me, um, as far as I'm concerned uh, about this topic, I have to do this and that, as luck would have it. So please use these expressions and try to make sentence of it. So complete the fixed expression. This is as far as possible without looking at the left uh, hand page. Okay, come, no, not, I don't remember giving her the key. I'd better ring her and check just in case. So, anybody have a clue? What should we put here? Come, not, uh, so what, what should we, which one we should we use? It's very easy. Huh? Come to, anybody writing in the chat? يلا مين يجاوب؟ if you want to say say come come to a anybody knows come to think exactly come to think of it so first one will be come to think of it I don't remember giving her the key I would better ring her and check just in case that means realizing this come to think it will be come to think صح برافو عليك يا جير بوي ممتاز ومصطفى صح طيب if you know what the economy going to get much worse before it gets my any better if you uh, if you it is very easy if you uh, very easy number two if you uh, who knows I'm opening the chat to see your answers if you If you ask me, bravo عليك يا عبد الله. If you ask me, okay, uh, 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 the economy is going to get much worse before it gets any better. ممتاز. No at holidays. Have you got any plans for next year? So no at holidays. Let's say holidays. What we can use? I uh, this one is I know I I know the answer for this one. I need to use it for you. No at holidays. Have you got any plans for next year? 
Hmm. It's, it's one word. Two words. Eh? No, not for me. Yes, Ramesh, not for me. Huh? Yalla, I know the answer. I know. Huh? Who, who knows? Think. No at holidays. Have you got any plans for next year? أقول لكم بالعربي وأنت هتفهم بالإنجليزي. بالتفكير في الأجازات عندك خطط نو 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 ذات ريمالي. على ذكر الأجازات عندك خط توكينج أوف. أوكي توكينج أوف إز وان مصطفى كان بي. بس ذير إز بيتر وورد. إحنا استخدمناها قبل كده. على ذكر الأجازات أنت محضر نفسك للسنة الجاية ولا لأ؟ نو نوت أز يو آر سينج. ثينكينج أوف. The answer will be thinking of holidays. Have you got any plans for the next year? Had to balku? Thinking of. It will be thinking of. Thinking of holidays. Have you got any plans for the next year? What's it? It's going to be expensive. Yes, but it will be fun. A great opportunity. But 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 as not, it will be expensive. Di ba di ulne ha bikin as iba. Uh, who can say that? It's going to be expensive. Yes, it will be. Uh, it will be fun and get it ready. But as uh, 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 it will be expensive. Huh? Who knows the answer? يلا يا جماعة تشجعوا بقى ونبى جماعة عشان خاطر يشدوا حلقوا كده وكتبوا في الشات وجاوبوا. ادوني energy. As you are saying. لا بسو هايدر as you are saying is أنا مش موجودة. As I think لا. طب as far as far as Huh? Who can continue? I'll talk to you now. As far as when you come back to the who can continue the rest of the sentence? As far as huh? well, the net is weak, or you don't know? As far as you are, no. As as far as you like, no, no, as yet. As far, no, as far. As I am concerned, هتبقى كده. As far as I am concerned, it will be expensive. هتلاقوا هنا موجود. As far as I am concerned, بصوا كده. As far as as I am concerned, we can eat at any time. It it last for. As far as it affects me, so this is what it means. Okay. طيب تعالوا نعمل واحدة تانية. That is not. I have a message for you from Sid. That. ها. تعالوا نشوف ذات. عندنا حاجات بقى في ذات كتير أو. هنحط ذات هنا إيه؟ من يقول ذات. I have a message for you from Sid. Anybody knows the answer? Anybody knows the answer? That not. I have message for you from Sid. As not before the postwoman interrupted us, we plan to extend the house next spring. As As I was saying, صح. As I was saying, هو برضو واحدة بالإيديمس. تمام. برافو عليك. وفي أصلي. صح. Just remind me. Okay. As you were saying, برضو واحدة بالإيديمس. تمام. So, هنقول إيه? Okay. Reminds me. صح. برضو هايدر. Or this reminds me. Okay. All right. So, as it reminds. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. I have exactly. Very good. That reminds me. I have a message from Sid. صح. Number six, as not before the postwoman interrupted us, we plan to extend the house next spring. What do you think? The answer is as. Okay, think of it. Number five, as not before the postwoman interrupted us, we plan to extend the house next spring. What do you think? Where is it? Yeah. As I was saying, before the postwoman interrupted us, we plan to extend the house next spring. Okay. Bye. What were you and Lindsay talking about? Oh, 
which of expression this and that opposite would be most suitable for the second part of the mini dialogue طيب او it will be a little bit hard تعال يعني you got the idioms i want you to make a search about the idioms and try to read this um, uh, chapters now i want to show you something in this book that is really very nice um, let me share it with you here. i think it's the last session okay Okay. Are you what? All right. Uh, it's now uh, 93. Okay. 93. Let's go to 93. Now, American English. Now, uh, I know that uh, in my country, I don't know if it's in your country as well or not, there is an American diploma or the American English, which is actually my daughter. Uh, both of them studied American English, which is very much easier than the British English. The British English is, is more hard, is harder, and it's actually more formal. But let's see some of the differences between American English and uh, British English. But before I move from the idioms, anybody have a question in mind would like to ask me about the idioms? Uh, في سؤال في دماغك حابب تعرفه؟ حد عايز يسال سؤال قبل ما نخرج من النقطة دي؟ Anybody has a question? ها uh, would like to ask a question مين عايز يسال سؤال؟ طيب no questions تمام English in the United States differs considerably from the British English pronunciation is the most striking difference but there are also a number of differences in vocabulary and spelling, uh, as well as the differences in grammar. On the whole, British people are exposed to a lot of American English on TV, films, and so on. They will usually understand most American vocabulary. Uh, American spelling is usually simpler. For example, British English words ending in our and R E and uh, uh, end in or, uh, or, or, or and ER. In American English, color, you see, that's the, the color center. There are differences. Yani, you know, like uh, nights and flight. Idiom. Yes, idioms are formal or uh, no, idioms are more informal, yeah, Mustafa. They are used uh, more informal talk. It's not formal English. Yani you can, yani very rare, you can use it in emails and reporting. So like when we say light, the American write it this way, light. Fight. The American write it this way. So the American just write as they listen or they, or they pronounce. So some of the differences, gasoline, which is petrol in English, truck, this is a lorry, baggage, luggage, blow out, puncture, sidewalk, pavement, line, queue, vacation, holiday, trunk of a car, it's a boot, hood of a car, it's a bonnet, cab, which is a taxi, freeway, motorway, round trip, return, uh, railway car or rail carriage, engineer on a train, engine driver, baby carriage, pram, antenna, the British call it aerial, so we always use the antenna, elevator, lift, razor, rubber, apartment, flat, closet, wardrobe, drapes, curtains, fusée, a tap, kerosene, paraffin, scotch tape, cello tape, yard, uh, garden, cookie, biscuit, candy, sweets, garbage, rubbish, rubbish, diaper, nappy, panty, uh, hose, tights. Now notice also the fall equal autumn. Semester, semester is a term. So semester is always used in um, uh, in, 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 in in United States. So we all go to say we have first semester, second semester. So it's term. Semester is becoming common in Britain as well now. Okay. But it's, it's mainly was used in turn. Here are some words and phrases which can cause confusion when used by Brits and American talking together by the means something different in each language. A bill, the, the, when, when they say a bill, American means a bill or a banknote. But uh, a Brits means a check in cafe. Can you send me the bill, please? So a bill here is something different from America than from British. The first floor, in the in United States, it means a ground floor. But in British, it means the second floor because the first floor is the first floor above the ground. And then, for example, when we say the door is empty, 
اوكي بيبقى ده موجود في الارض بتعمل الارض عشان لكن هم طبعا عندهم الجراوند فلور هنا هو مختلف بانتس تراوزرز اندر بانتس فيري بيج ديفرنس اوكي سو بانتس بانتس اوكي ان يونايتد ستيتس مينز تراوزرز But in British, it's something totally different. We should use the word trouser, not pants. Potato chips. It here in the United States mean crisps. In, in, in British, it means French fries. Purse, a handbag, a wallet, subway, an underground, an underpass. A subway here uh, in Britain means uh, 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 an underpass. Nafa, yeah. Vest, which is a waistcoat, uh, an undershirt in Britain. Wash up, wash your hands, wash the dishes. So there is a lot of difference. Now let's see um, if you saw a word spelt in the following, you would expect the writer each case to be okay. Neighbor, okay. Which what are the American and the British word of the following things? So what is this? Number one, what do you call it? You, you can use you can go uh, without looking. Now, uh, what do we call this one? The American call it. Uh, anybody knows? أول واحدة إيه يا جماعة؟ أنتوا نمتوا مني خالص، شكلكم نايمين النهاردة. تعبتوا ولا إيه؟ أنتنا صح، that's correct، برافو يا حيدر، أنتنا. And the British call it the aerial. Perfect. What is this؟ نمبر اتنين. Closet، أوكي. Okay. And it can be a wardrobe. So uh, again, you can just go to, uh, through the pictures and try to uh, write as much as you can. So this is just a very quick difference. Translate the following into British English. I had a blowout past my cookies. So uh, 93.4. It's homework. And Yeah, you can use. Uh, you can you you will find all the the words you need are uh, being set up there. So just all the words you will find it here. So try to find the correct word and answer uh, ninety three point four. Can you avoid some of the most common confusion regarding the permission? Okay, where would you take an American visitor? British visitor who said they wanted to wash up kitchen. Okay, nice one, nice puzzle. Let's let's answer this one. Where would you take an American visitor or a British visitor who said they wanted to wash up the kitchen or the bathroom? So an American visitor wanted to wash up. Where are you going to take him? He said, I, I need to wash up. Ah, which one? Where, 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 where are you going to, to get to the bathroom? Stopped. Bravo, Ali Kamuna. Time. If the British person, exactly. If the British person want to wash up, where are you going to take him? To the uh, kitchen or bathroom, the British person. Because wash up in Britain means wash, washing the dishes. Okay, so not uh, exactly. Bravo, Ali. Bravo, Amona. Bravo, Hydro. So 93.5 also is a very nice uh, exam, uh, exercise. So it's homework as well. 93.5. It's homework. It's very easy. It will also help you to see the difference between the English and American uh, English. Okay, you need a break. What do you think? Need a break for 10 minutes to go to pray and finish uh, things? Okay, sir, as you want. أنا بسألكوا الأول يعني أنتوا بالنسبة لكم أوكي؟ تحبوا تاخدوا بريك شوية ونرجع على حاجة تانية ولا أنتوا عايزين تكملوا؟ أنا بالنسبة لي ما فيش مشكلة. I'd like to hear your voices or, or, or your suggestions. Anybody need a break or you think um, we can continue? Ahmed say yes, yes, a break, okay. Yeah, right, right in the chat box, I'm opening the chat box. Okay, let's take a break. So uh, it's now five o'clock exactly on my watch. So let's uh, have 10 minutes break and then let's come back at five, uh, 10 past five, okay? ساعة خمسة وعشرة إن شاء الله نرجع ونتقابل بعد عشر دقايق اللي عايزوا بقى يصلي يعمل كوباية شاي يعمل كل حاجة
Thank you so much, and see you after uh, 10 minutes. Today we started with vocabulary. I hope that it's beneficial for you. Uh, yeah. uh, 10 minutes, I will come back.
السلام عليكم انا جيت بدري اهو يعني لما تكونوا جاهزين قولوا لي اوكي It's okay, I guess they're ready. We can begin if everything okay. is good with you. Everything is great with me. Let me start. Okay. Yesterday we were talking about the seatbelt. Okay. Let's. Let's start. So we're going to go now to comprehension. And you have to uh, uh, have this habit of uh, at least making one comprehension every day. So every day we're going to, uh, until the end of the session, inshallah, the next so tomorrow and uh, on, on, on uh, Thursday also, we're going to do comprehension. I want you to, make, to be used for comprehension because I'm going to get a passage for comprehension in your tests. So uh, let's start our comprehension. Where is it? All right, seat belt comprehension. Yalla. Can you all see my screen? Yes, sir. It's Yalla. Clear. We need somebody to read the comprehension and then let's answer together and check our homework for yesterday. So yesterday we had a homework for comprehension. So who's going to read? Yalla, we need volunteers. We have 31 participants. Are all they, are they all silent? So we have uh, Abdul Jalil raised his hand. Okay, Abdul Jalil, you can uh, go ahead. The click or directions, read the following passage and answer okay. the questions okay. that follow. Mm -hmm. Refer to the text to click your answers when appropriate. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Click, that's the sound of safety. That's the sound of survival. That's the sound of a seatbelt locking in place. Locking, seat locking, no, no, not looking, locking. Locking in place. Mm -hmm. Seat belts save lives. Seat, seat, that... seat, seat belts, seat. seat. Mm. Sorry, seat mm. belts save mm. lives and that's a fact. That's why I don't drive anywhere until mine is on, on tight. Mm -hmm. Choosing to wear your, your seat belt is as simple as choosing between life and death. Which one do you choose? Mm -hmm. Think about it. When you're driving in a car, you may be going 60 MPH mm -hmm. or if faster. MPH, anybody knows what's MPH? It's a mile per hour. Yes, yeah, salam alaik. Uh, miles per hour, 60 miles. And anybody knows what 60 miles per hour means in kilometers? Like how much speed? Yeah, let's do some uh, mathematics. Anybody knows? Huh? Engineers, you, are, uh, you should know that. What's mile per hour uh, is? I think it's uh, one mile equal one kilo plus, yes? One mile is uh, one. Uh, yeah, is one point one point six sixty one point six. Okay, one so point, it's hmm. one point six. We have to multiply sixty by one point six. We get the, equal yeah. meters. Okay, and the Americans are always using miles. They are not using kilometers. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, go ahead, Yalla. Come, continue. Ninety-six kilometers per hour. It's like one hundred kilometers. Thank you, Mustafa. Mustafa has just uh, calculated it for us. Okay, come on, continue, Abdul Jalil. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That car is uh, zipping down or zip, zipping the down the road. Zipping, zipping down the road. Okay, zipping down the road. Well, I have uh, a question. Somebody... I have a question. What do we call zipping down the road? Huh? We just talked about it today. What do, do we? What do we call this kind of uh, sentence? ADMs. Uh, ADMs. ADMs. See? Now see how it's used? It's zipping down the road. Literally, the car is not zipping down the road. 
but it means that he's, he's, he's eating the road. It's coming very quickly. You got it? So yes. I, I, I want you to connect. I want you to connect what you study with what you read. This is very important. So here is how we, we use idioms. When you are uh, actually uh, writing a passage or paragraph, the more you use idioms, it's, it's good for you. It means that you are good in English, okay? Anyway, thank you very much. I'll continue, Abdelil. Anybody else like to read? Uh, anybody like to read? Okay, continue, Abdeljil. If anybody like to read, please raise your hands. I think you are all sleepy today. Yalla, go ahead. Then somebody ahead of you locks up his or her brakes. Mm -hmm. your, your driver doesn't have time to stop the car that you are in crashes. Mm -hmm. Your car was going 60 miles per hour. Okay. Now, now it has suddenly stopped. Mm -hmm. Your body, however, is, it, is still going 60 mph. Okay. What's, go, what's going to stop your body? Well, it be the windshield. Or windshield, windshield. Your, windshield or your oh. seat belt. Okay, so you know what the windshield is? very easy the the the, the front uh, glass uh, in your car the, you know that the front the, the front uh, the front shield for your car in barbaris al adami or the zubag al adami okay yes 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 yeah go go ahead please as every time that you get into a car you make that choice i choose the seat belt Excellent. Hmm. Continue. Uh, okay. If, no, if anybody else like to continue, okay, I will take for you. I don't want you to get tired, so uh, I will continue for you. Some people think that the seat belts are uncool. They think that the seat belts cramp their style. So, uh, cramp their style is uh, idiom. Exactly. See how it's used. I will. That's good to connect. Cramp their style, so it's not going to cramp their style. But this is an idiom. Or the seat belt are uncomfortable to say to them. I say, what's what's more uncomfortable, wearing a seat belt or flying through a windshield? What's more uncool, being safely anchored to a car or skidding across the road in your jean shorts? Wearing a seat belt is both cooler and more comfortable than alternative. Let's just uh, take a closer look. Okay, at your choices. If you are not wearing your seat belt, you can hop around the car and slide in and out of your seat uh, easily. That sounds like a, a lot of fun, but you are also likely, more likely to die or suffer serious injuries. If you are wearing seat belt, you have to stay in your seat belt. That's no fun, but you are much more likely to walk away unharmed from a car accident. Hmm. A small pleasure for a serious pain. That's a tough choice. I think that I'll avoid it, uh, the serious pain. Uh, how about giving money away? Do you like to give your money away? Probably not. And when you don't wear your seatbelt, you are begging to give your money away. That's because kids are required to wear, to wear seatbelts in every state in America. If you are riding a car and you don't have a seatbelt on, the police can give you or uh, your driver a ticket. Then you will have to give uh, money to the city. I would rather keep my money, but you can spend yours how you want. Wearing a seatbelt does not make you invincible. You know what invincible mean? Anybody knows what invincible mean? Undefeatable or something okay. that you exactly. can defeat. Exactly. Very nice. Allah inawar alik. MashaAllah. Undefeatable. You can still get hurt, killed, or uh, while wearing your seatbelt, but wearing them has proven to be safer than driving without them. You are much less likely to be killed in a car wreck. If you are wearing a seatbelt, you are much less likely to get seriously injured. If you are wearing one, so why not take the safer way, the uh, way, safer way? Why not go to the way that has been proven to result in fewer deaths? You don't want to live, don't you? So this was the uh, text uh, uh, we, we, we had as a homework yesterday. Anybody uh, didn't do the homework or anybody did the homework? Everybody on the chat did the homework or then the participants? Everybody? 
So let's let's um, go and try to solve it together. So which title best express the main idea of this text? Text car accidents, ways that we can prevent them, slow down, save lives by driving slower, or a seat belt wears them to survive any wreck, or why not improve our odds with seat belts? What do you think? Which one is it, it fits better? I think C. Yeah, C is better. It's not about car accidents. It's not about uh, save life by driving slower. No, it's not that. Okay. So what do you think about D? D also say why not improve your odds with seat belt? He talked here. He talked here about something that people think it's odd. Anybody see here when he talked about? Um, you can hop in and okay, but you're not okay. We he has talked here about yeah. Oh, some people think that the seat belt are uncool. They think that the seat belt can uh, belt cramp their style or that the seatbelt are uncomfortable. Yes, Saja, bravo, I think also D fits. Why not improve your odds with seat belt? So I think that C and D goes right. What do you think? Do you agree with me or not? I'm I'm listening to your feedback. Uh, I can't agree with you because a seat belt is, a, is something that is required in the law. The law ask you to wear your seat belt so it's not a, a question to improve improve it is a requirement of driving so excellent, you, excellent. if you have to drive you have to wear a seat belt that's a law can't change that mm -hmm. okay I, I i agree with you very very good point of view but uh you don't you think that when he talked here about that people get crumpy or think that they are actually looking bad when they put a uh, seat belt is something that they need to change, which is maybe he, not everybody's doing it. Some people think that the seat belt are uncool, although they know that it's required, but still they don't do it. And they think that it cramps their style or uncomfortable, although they know that it's required. What do you think? I, I think the, there is the, some, some fluence to the media. Uh, of course, movies and uh, and, uh, and and series can can influence people. So if they see the hero of the movie don't wearing a seatbelt and mm -hmm. and he is moving around, shooting guns, uh, drifting or something like that, they feel that that's cool. I can do that, but yeah. it is uh, we can't do that actually. Excellent. You have to wear the seatbelt, and Excellent. it's not a question. Very, very good, excellent. And I want uh, more people to get involved in, the, in this conversation. Please share your ideas because it's all about talking. I'm trying to make here uh, to connect things together. So it's not just uh, we are answering the questions. We need to get into dialogues and we need to practice English. So this is a chance where you can actually um, uh, uh, declare your opinion, say your perception, practice talking English. So I, 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 uh, I, I wish that uh, I listen for more people to practice. I don't know. Today, I, I feel that you are tired and exhausted. Uh, I hope I'm not right. Uh, I hope I'm wrong. So uh, if you are tired, I'm not going to get this long. I'm going to just finish in the moment. Okay, so let's uh, finish this comprehension and then I will uh, leave something for you again and then we can uh, go and have some rest. Okay, which best expresses the author main purpose purpose in writing this text to inform readers about seatbelt laws or to persuade readers to wear seatbelts or to entertain readers or to describe what car accidents are like without seatbelts? What do you think? Which one? Huh? Anybody? Yalla. I think it's B to persuade readers. Okay. Okay, I think it's B. Yeah, I think it's B because he's trying to and to inform me about seatbelt laws. Did he talk about the law? Yes, he talked about the law. Yes. Haider Bardu Sah, Saja Sah. Saja is very nice, Bardu, girl boy Bardu Sah. Because he, he talked about the law. He talked that in, in America, uh, if you, and you don't put a seatbelt on, the police will give you a ticket. So he's always also talking about the law. So I think here we can all agree that uh, to inform the reader, say, no, this is not to inform, it's to persuade. That's correct. Uh, and uh, oh, and, and so sorry, A and B. I think it's A and B is correct. Do you agree with me? A and B is correct. Yes, A and B is correct. Excellent. But it's not to describe accident and not to entertain readers. Perfect. Now, which best describes the text structure in the fourth paragraph? 
the first paragraph, we had a, a, a description. So it's compare and contrast or sequential order, chronological order and problem and solution. Now compare and contrast, which means you compare an idea to, a, to an idea and you put the contrast. Exactly, sequential means going follow up, following together. Uh, and, uh, and I'm just explaining, chrono chronological means something uh, permanent and problem and solution means putting a problem and uh, I think it's A, yeah, it's compare and contrast. So let's in the first paragraph, which is, uh, let's see which one is the first, one, two, three, and four. Okay, which is, let's just take a closer look at your choices if you are not wearing your silver, yes. Compare and contrast, yes, that's right. You can hop around the slide, yes, that's right. Very good, excellent, type. Which best define the word alternative? And for the word alternative, um, uh, my, my girls and boys, I want to say it's not alternatives, it's alternatives. Can you all listen to my pronunciation, alternatives? Because I yes, uh, I hear some people saying uh, alternative. No, it's not alternative, it's alternatives, okay? So, uh, being safe, well, uh, being unsafe, well, uh, other choices, well, uh, driving fast. Uh, okay, which best defines the word alternatives? It's okay. Let's see in 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 the third paragraph. Let's see the word alternatives where it falls. Okay, so wearing seat belt is both cooler and more comfortable than the alternatives. So, what do you think the alternatives he's, here means? I think it also it's it's being unsafe is correct. What do you think? Mortada says C, uh, Mona says B, and uh, uh, Haida says C. Good boy says C. Okay, let's see. Uh, which one defines the word alternatives is the best in the search? I think it's B is correct. Being unsafe, this is an alternative. And other choices. So I think it's uh, C and B or B and C, but it's not A. Because one of the alternatives uh, is not to be, be to be safe, because being safe is actually what is actually we are talking about in this paragraph that people are not safe. So I think it's B and C. What do you think? B and C, being unsafe or other choices? Perfect. Five. So B and C is correct answers. Number five, which best expresses the main idea of fifth paragraph? Seat belts are a waste of money. Well, uh, people don't like to give money away. Well, uh, not wearing a seatbelt may cost you. Well, a seatbelt lose, save lives. See, yeah, this is clearly C. Haider C, Abdul Jalil C. Yes, that's correct. It's clearly C. Yeah. No, okay. Which best defines the word invincible as it's used in the last paragraph? Uncool, glow in the dark, difficult or impossible to see, unable to be harmed. Which one? D, clearly D. Unable to be hard. Exactly. Mashallah, Abdul Jalil, Wahidar, very good. Which statement would the author most likely agree with? Which one? If you are the author. Being safe is more important than being cool. Moving freely around the car is worse risks. Seat belt will keep you safe in any car accident. You should most concerned with your comfort. Which one? This is one answer. A, only A. Seat belt will keep you safe in your car accident? No, this is not correct. Because he said, if you remember Saja, that even when you put the seat belt, you still can have access. Yes, do you remember this one? So it's only being safe is more important than being cool. That's all. But but he said in a word that seat belts, you, you, you don't think it will you will be invincible. So I think it's okay. You everybody says C. Murtada says C. Saja says C. Abdul G says D. What do you think? I I don't think C is correct, Agama. Think with me. And I'm fucker Michael. Good boy and Mona. I think it's A. Why I don't think C? Because he says seat belts will keep you safe in your in any any the word any here. No, that's not correct. Let's go back to the passage. If we look back to the passage, okay, wearing seat belt does not make you invincible. You still uh -huh, you still a you still can get hurt, killed, or wearing your seatbelt. It can happen. So here we say it's not correct. You got what I mean? So it's not correct because it will never, uh, um, 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 seatbelt will keep you safe in any car accident. This is not correct. You got you got the point? So it's strictly A. 
حلو الكلام تمام let's move to question number eight which argument is not والنهار المرة دي هاخد بالي من النط بقى امبارح انا ما خدتش بالي من النط النهار ده هاخد بالي منها which argument is not made by the author okay not wearing a seat belt can be expensive ولا penalties for not wearing seat belt should increase ولا seat belt belts keep you from flying through the windshield ولا wearing a seat belt is cooler than suffering a journey which one is not made So I think let's let's see, let's see what he made. Uh, okay, he he made this one. Okay, not wearing seat belt. He he talked about it. He talked about penalties. Penalties for not wearing seat belt should increase. No, he did not talk talk about this one. Uh, he talked about this one. And he talked about this one. So it's B. Excellent. Allah nawar alik murtada wa manar mumtaza wa saja mumtaza wa haydar mumtaza wa Abdul Jalil mumtaza wa mana. منى وجور بوي قالوا ايه بس ده على السؤال اللي قبليه صح. طيب نمبر 9 which statement would the author most likely disagree with؟ اوكي سيت بيلت سيف لايفز. نو اوف كورس نوت. every state in America has seat belt laws. نو. No. Uh, you shouldn't drive anywhere until you are wearing your seat belt. نو no. seat belt uh, increase in time. اوكي سو اي ثينك اتس اتس دي فيري كلوز تو بي دي يس. Very close. يعني very الله ينور يا منى الله ينور عبد الجليل ما شاء الله عليكم. طيب نمبر 10 Which best explains why the author start his essay with the word click? Okay, he's trying to scare readers, he's trying to get the reader attention, he's trying to remind readers I was able he's trying to describe what uh, what it's like to ride in a car. Yes, D. Strictly D. Bravo عليك مرتضى. Bravo عليك ساجا. ممتاز. طيب uh, what are the three main points that the author uses to support his argument put them in your own words uh, i just need to hear it from you uh, who can uh, open the mic and tell me what are the three main points that the author used to support his argument we did not hear any girls today what are the girls sleepy today or what and we did not even hear any boys so hey i need to hear somebody who can talk about three main points that I, the author i have a question yes please I go have ahead a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, number eight, number eight of the choices. Of okay, the, let's, of let's the go to no, number eight, yeah. Okay, which argument uh, is not? Uh, uh, no, no, number nine, it's number nine. Which statement okay. would the author most likely disagree with? Yes. Uh, the uh, the choices were seat belts save lives. Uh, everybody said D, seat belts increase your chances of being injured uh, in, in a car wreck. Mm -hmm. Increase your chances of being injured so okay. the author is actually disagree with 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 c you shouldn't drive uh, anywhere until you wear uh, you are wearing a seat belt so uh, c also goes so c, c is correct i'm sure c is correct now you shouldn't drive anywhere this is uh, uh, but if do you think that he will disagree with this statement my friend now i what i want you to I imagine mean, What I, I want mean, you to, to imagine that he's going to disagree with the statement. Which statement he will disagree with? He will he will disagree with the with the idea of being uh, of driving uh, uh, anywhere with until you are wearing a seatbelt. Of course. No, if somebody came to him and tell you shouldn't drive anywhere until you are wearing your seatbelt, would the author disagree or agree? Oh, okay, okay, I got the idea. He got so, he got it, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So if 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 anybody still on every state in America has a seat belt law, would he disagree? This is a question you have to ask yourself. Now, when every when somebody goes to the author and tell him, if you actually put this seat belt, uh, your your chances of being injured in a car wreck is uh, is higher. Would he agree or disagree? I disagree, of course. Exactly. You got it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. But but very good, uh, nice nice uh, comment and nice discussion. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, can we explain why we choose D in point number 10? Okay, let's go. Which best explain why the author started his essay with click? Now, he started his essay with click, okay? So we have four answers. He's trying to scare readers. Of course, this is not uh, true. He's trying to get the reader attention, maybe. B is maybe correct. He's trying to remind the reader how it built sound when it claps. C is correct. This is so much clear. He's trying to describe what it's like to ride in a car. No, it's C, not D. 
It's C. Yes, we are answer C. La Abdiri C. Yes, that's right. It's it's exactly when you put the, the when you put the uh, uh, exact D, D is not correct. Yeah, D is not correct. We uh, I I didn't know uh, I didn't take care of that. Uh, I didn't read quite well D. Now it's C. The answer is C. Click, which means when you put the belt in the okay, perfect. D is not good. Allah nawar alik abdi. I hab the nasal musah sah hadi el halawa di. Mashaallah alik wa Allah alazim. Wa alahad bi taalim minko hagat kitir. I really am very happy to and and uh, honored to be uh, doing anything with you. Tab, who can talk to me in uh, two minutes about the three main points that the author uses to support his argument? Can you put? Can anybody talk? Murtada, Allah nawar Murtada. Excellent. Uh, who can actually? Yeah, go ahead. I can. I can do this. Yes, please do uh, it. But not ten words. I can do ten words. Uh, uh, three main uh, three main points. I okay. can do. I can do two. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Mm. Okay. Uh, three main points that the author uh, that the author uh, the, uh, the support, author support 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 in his er, uh, argument. Uh, argument. Well, actually, uh, well, actually, he supports that the uh, seat belt. Uh, increase your odds and uh, uh, increase your odds of uh, and chances uh, of surviving in a in a car wreck. So, okay. if, uh, so if you are uh, so if you wear uh, if you wear a seat belt, mm -hmm. you will be some sometimes you will be saved, sometimes you will be not. So mm -hmm. he uh, actually support the argument uh, mm -hmm. that the the that seat belt is more uh, that the seat belt actually increases your chances of surviving a car wreck. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, the the second area uh, the, uh, the second uh, seat belt seat belt is uh, seat belt are required. So uh, we should uh, uh, increase the penalties or or uh, or maybe I don't know I don't know I'm I'm confused right now. So okay, I, go, go, Lalo, go ahead and um, say what you like. I'm, I'm all ears. I'm listening to. I actually forgot the forgot the paragraph. So okay, yeah. um, let's let's uh, let's open the paragraph again to help you. Let's do. So he supported his argument by some things, some yeah. of what, some of which was. Uh, you, I have it here in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he supported that that the seat belt are uh, are actually cool. And okay. are actually cool. So people, some people say that the 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 seatbelt are uncool, or they 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 cramp your their style. Uh, they cramp their style. So mm -hmm. we actually we actually should put uh, should put on seatbelt to mm -hmm. to not suffer any injuries of correct. So uh, rather than suffering the the alternative, which is being. Uh, which is being injured or killed by a car wreck. So, okay. That, okay. so wearing a seatbelt uh, makes you not entirely invincible, but sometimes mm -hmm. makes you invincible. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Excellent. Excellent. Very, very nice. I love it. Yeah, that's good. So the last question here in this uh, packet, well, why does the also write about driving in a car in the second paragraph? What is his purpose? Refer to the text in your explanation. So in the second paragraph, we have he's writing about car accidents. Why are why is he doing so? Let's see the second paragraph. So we have this the first one. Okay. Why does he write about that? When you are driving a car, you may be going 60 miles per hour or faster. That car is zipping down the road. Then somebody ahead of you locks up uh, his his or her brakes. Your driver doesn't have time to stop the car that you are in crashes. Your car was going in 60 uh, miles per hour. Now it has suddenly stopped. Your body, however, is still going. What is going to stop your body? Will be uh, will it be will it be the windshield or the, your seat belt? Every time that you get into a car, you make the choice. I choose the seat belt. So why is he writing about that? Anybody got the answer? Anybody got an answer? Yalla, gama'a. Had the answer given? Why is he writing about the car accident in this paragraph? Okay. To show up the dangers. Okay, good boy. Sahah jiddan. Bravo alik. Excellent, good boy. To show the danger or the hazard of the car accident. That's correct. 
and to, to use it as an argument uh, for, for them and to, to show you uh, some physics about the body and the speed. That is uh, very, very well. So in this paragraph you are looking right now, I want you in the chat box to write, to give me a present continuous uh, statement. Give me, yeah, write a st present continuous. Find it quickly. Yallah, write in the chat. Last thing we're going to do, write a present continuous uh, uh, sentence in the chat. From this paragraph, I'm highlighting. You are driving. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You are driving. Good, perfect. Time, give me present simple. Present simple. There's one sentence that's present simple, huh? Find the present simple. I choose, correct. Think about your driver doesn't have, correct. And the, 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 the car that you are in crashes. I study, okay. Okay, I choose. Past simple. Past simple. Past simple, what is past? So we'll take the grammar from the comprehension today. Where is the past simple? Ah, there is past here in these sentences. It has suddenly stopped. Bravo, Aliki, Haider, the man. Okay, stopped, stopped. That's good. Is there any future here? Now, windshield, uh, Hamima windshield is a, is a noun. It's not a, a, he was talked. He was talked. Where is that? He was talked. Everybody. I studied exactly. Going to, bravo, Aliki Amanor, Monteza. Was going, uh, was going, uh, was going is the past continuous, exactly. Bravo, Aliki Aya, uh, was going. Where is was going? You will be going. The car is dipping down the road. Somebody ahead of you. We did not uh, still would take, yeah, your car was, go, was going. Yeah, was going is the past continuous, bravo Aliki. We did not take it yet, but we will do. Suddenly stopped. It will be the wind, okay. Will it be the windshield? Yes. This is the question. It will be the windshield. So I think this is the future. So as you can see, we are making a dissolve of all that. Now, let me give you homework before I let you go. So English grammar, let's go to comprehension. Ah, let me give you one intermediate. Okay, two tigers. So this is your comprehension homework. Uh, do it for tomorrow, inshallah. And then, uh, okay, uh, and I'll also put it on, um, on uh, Telegram right now. Let me put it on Telegram for you. Okay. So um, English grammar, comprehension, intermediate, two tigers. So I put it also on, on Telegram. This is your homework for tomorrow. So today we talked about vocabulary and we talked about uh, uh, idioms uh, in, in vocabulary. And we made some comprehension. We made some talking. We reviewed the homework. And uh, for the story, mm, let me see. Which chapter we are in the story now, Robinson Crusoe uh, stories, we need to keep reading. So we actually, I think we finished chapter number five. So let's go to chapter number six. Okay. I think we finished five, yes. We, we, went, we, we achieved seven. Okay, so let's uh, finish seven. Okay, let's read. Let us read chapter eight for tomorrow and then we will make the reading for uh, for for chapter number eight so we will make that uh, homework for the chapter eight so we had some homeworks today uh, which is read the idioms in uh, the english vocabulary book and do the comprehension and uh, try to find some idioms try to write six seven lines of idioms if you have time 
uh, and you can go to Google or use the book you, ha you have to share some sentences with idioms. I want you to get used for it. And um, you can, uh, tomorrow's the exam. No, tomorrow's not the exam, Yamanar. The exam will be, inshallah, uh, next uh, Friday because we have tomorrow Saturday session. Friday uh, and then next Thursday we have the we have a session, and the next Friday will be the uh, uh, the last one the last uh, Friday which is the last session in the workshop will be the exam. Uh, and I will use you in the exam. I will I will give you the exam. I will send it to you, and you can start uh, answering in the exam. You have the uh, you can take the paper in your uh, mobile and you get a blank piece of paper. Uh, the summary of uh, of chapter eight. Eight. Let's see eight. Uh, okay. Eight. Uh, uh, Ahmima. It will be chapter eight. Uh, so, it, so again, uh, the exam will be inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, on Friday and uh, Thursday we'll, we'll have uh, one session. Tomorrow we have uh, the homework. I hope that you get used. Uh, I, I mean, the, the homework of yesterday. Okay, Bazidi, the test will be on Friday. The homework of yesterday, uh, if you would like to share it, I asked in the beginning of the session if anybody like to share it, but nobody like to share it. If you like to share it on WhatsApp, send it to me, and I correct it for you. Some some of the students they send me the, the, the their homeworks, and I correct it and send it back to them. So this is uh, okay. Let's read what Ahmima uh, read, uh, wrote before uh, going to make her happy. So once a man was living with his wife, and there was three men who came to his house, who gave him the opportunity to travel with them to Africa. The man said yes when they were traveling on a large ship. A strong hurricane attacked them and smashed the ship. Some of them decided to return, but the man was captivated to go and not to return. Moments later, uh, one of, the, uh, of them saw uh, land and tried to reach it by means of, uh, the, of the small boat. The wind was fast and great and overturned their boat and sent them under the water. The man is the only one who's still alive and swam to shore. Wallahi, mashallah, excellent, excellent, excellent. And your sentences are really beautiful, small. You have punctuation, you have punctuation so I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, Mona, uh, yes, he's in the next Friday. Two Tiger and the chapter eight of Robinson and the reading with the summarization. That is correct, yeah, Miss Mona. That's correct. Bravo, Ahmima. Excellent. I love it. Yani, very good wording. Very good. Very neat writing. خطك حلو قوي بصراحة يا حميمة. إن شاء الله عليك خطك على الكمبيوتر حلو قوي. تي زي تعلمتي تي كتابة على الكمبيوتر. I'm just joking. So that's that's fine. I'm really happy to be with you. And every time I'm I am with you, I'm I'm really happy. I wish that I'm beneficial for you. ننسى بقى الإنجليزي شوية ربنا معاكم الإنجليزي محتاج مبارسة أنا بعت لكم حاجات كتير ممكن تقروا كتير وتبراكتس كتير ومع الوقت هتقدروا تبقوا يعني أحسن إن شاء الله وبعد ما نخلص السيشنز دي لو عايزين تاخدوا السيشنز ثاني أنا معاكم ما عنديش أي مشكلة خالص نخش في ليفل تاني وتالت ورابع وربنا يوفقنا إن شاء الله أنا يعني اللي أنا عايز أقوله إن يهمني جدا من السيشنز دي إن أنتوا تتعلموا وان شاء الله باذن الله الشهادات مش مشكله بالنسبه لنا يعني لكن اهم حاجه بالنسبه لي انتوا فعلا تتعلموا يعني. I have missed one attended day. Can I get a certificate? Yeah, you, you can. Yes, you can يا مصطفى. Yes, you can. حتى لو انت ان شاء الله كلكم هتباصوا الاكزام بقى انا مش عايز حد ينزل يعني ان شاء الله كل الناس هتاخد شهادات. Uh, I have uh, plus I finished studying headway intermediate book but I don't have a certification. لا ان شاء الله مصطفى كل الناس هتاخد شهادات. كل الناس اللي هتبعت اسمائها على الاكسل شيت لمنى او للادمن هتاخد شهادات ان شاء الله. تمام حد عايز يسالني سؤال؟ اجين آه رقمي برضو كل مره هكتبه على الـ على السيشن عشان لو حد عايز يبعت لي الهومر بتاعه تمام اصلحه له او عايز يبعت لي اي واتساب آه ربنا يخليك يا منى وما فيش اي مشكله خالص وانا بجد سعيد معاكم و جمعة مباركة عليكم إن شاء الله وربنا يتقبل دعاكم وأنا بحبكم جدا بحبكم. يلا أشوفكم على خير إن شاء الله. شكرا باي 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 يا أحمد باي باي. يلا مع السلامة. مع السلامة أستاذ شكرا جزيلا. مع السلامة.